Where were you 20 years ago? The day it happened. People screaming, bro. Are you guys okay? Is there anybody with injuries? That's it, it's gone. The building came down. Those terrifying images, so eerily similar to another day just a few months ago. Images that shook the world. The Miami-Dade Urban Search and Rescue Team, well known for their life-saving efforts during 9-11, were joined by more than 370 rescue teams from places like Tampa, Orlando, Jacksonville, Fort Myers, even Mexico and Israel. It's just more proof that in times of great trial and great tragedy, the human experience is also one of great care. The appreciation event for first responders was followed by a solidarity walk with family and loved ones involved in the collapse. Neighbors, in the broadest sense of the word, rallied to the aid of neighbors, rendering support and love and giving hope. This is what we are here to honor today. This is Neighbors for Neighbors, Impacts of Connection. Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia Dimas. Welcome to a Neighbors for Neighbors special, unlike any before. The world is still grappling with a pandemic. Haitians struggling in the aftermath of political unrest and natural disaster. Cubans fight for freedom. And the people of Surfside, as well as residents of other condominiums, search for answers. But we're not here to focus on the problems, but rather the generous and self-sacrifice and heroic actions of people just like you who have stepped into these situations to help. For more than 29 years, Neighbors for Neighbors has been connecting people in need with those willing to help. And over the course of the last year, we've made more connections, helped more people, and raised more money than any other time in our history. As you saw moments ago, the images from Surfside on June 24th were reminiscent of images we saw 20 years ago today. Blood-curdling screams echoing through the darkness, dust, and debris. Are you guys okay? Is there anybody with injuries? Surfside police officers defining the phrase first responders running into danger with body cams on. Just moments after the Champlain Towers collapsed in the wee morning hours of June 24th, coming to an understanding of what had just happened. That side's gone. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm on penthouse 12, which is all the way at the top. I'm, 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 on, the, I'm on my phone with my... Sorry, man. No, no, no. no I'm just trying to catch my breath. The increasing sound of sirens signaling the magnitude of the collapse. I hear a boom, boom, but I'm thinking it's elevated. No beeps and nothing goes off. Another boom, boom come. That's when, that's when um, I hear a brrrr. The harsh reality of what could have been hitting overnight front desk security officer Shimoka Furman hard. I don't even know how I made it out. As the severity of the events became more apparent, so too did the need for help. Survivors and their families would most certainly need aid. So too would all of those working in the search and rescue efforts. To help, Neighbors for Neighbors established the Surfside Building Collapse Fund. And our viewers stepped up in a big way. Support surfside.org and neighborsforneighbors.org slash surfside fund are two legitimate donation sites that people can go and donate. We did receive one report today at the Florida Division of Emergency Management. There is at least one fraudulent company out there on the web. So again, these two sites are valid. SupportSurfside.org and NeighborsForNeighbors.org slash Surfside Fund. To date, the fund has raised more than $292,000 with tens of thousands more dollars pledged to help out. Through the fund, we were able to provide more than 1,000 meals to first responders who were working right there at the site. This would not have been possible without our partners catering the event, T-Mobile, Starbucks, and Infrasoul helping unite our community. And while the search and rescue operations have come to an end, the needs of survivors and their families is still ongoing. If you'd like to donate to the Surfside Building Collapse Fund, your donation will go towards long-term assistance for these families. 
Our hope is to get their lives and homes back together and to help find resources that will heal the mental anguish from this traumatic event. Please log on to NeighborsForNeighbors.org to donate now and to learn more about the Surfside Building Collapse Fund. When we come back, an earthquake in Haiti takes the lives of more than 2,000 people and damages more than 130,000 homes. Learn how Neighbors for Neighbors is supporting Team Rubicon in lending assistance. The nation of Haiti, still reeling from the assassination of their president, experienced a 7.2 magnitude earthquake just a few weeks ago. On the ground in Haiti's capital, we saw people carried off military helicopters and eventually onto ambulances waiting nearby. The most critically injured rescued from remote areas and flown to Port-au-Prince. Those at risk of losing life, limb or eyesight are being triaged and brought up here. The 7.2 magnitude earthquake killed more than 2,000 people, another devastating disaster in hard hit Haiti, already facing its own hurdle, the COVID-19 pandemic. Very, very difficult to manage COVID here. We have very limited ventilators. We met Stacy House at the airport in Port-au-Prince. She's with Project MediShare. She's also a respiratory therapist. I personally am very nervous about um, the next wave, the Delta variant that's hitting you guys in the States and all over. I'm, I'm worried for Haiti for when that arrives here. Thousands lost their lives, hundreds of thousands lost their homes. Getting food and medical supplies to those who desperately need it has been a challenge. That is why Neighbors for Neighbors has set up the Haiti Earthquake Relief and Recovery Fund. Funds raised will help support Team Rubicon Disaster Relief. They're on the ground in Haiti, providing life-saving resources to those in need. Team Rubicon began in 2010 after the Haiti earthquake that occurred there. Uh, it started by two military veterans, Marine Corps veterans, uh, that basically watched the events of Haiti unfold uh, on CNN after they had departed the service. That became the impetus for what Team Rubicon is, taking those skills and experiences that military veterans have and repurposing them for disaster response. So one of the biggest things is being a, a uh, island nation, you know, supplies are slow to get into the country and the overall demand that has been created after the earthquake from uh, the medical side and even, even from the water sanitation and hygiene uh, has caused a strain on the supply chain. As we were starting to assemble our medical team to deploy into uh, Haiti, uh, we made connections with uh, the CBS affiliates and, and that, that became a natural tie-in. And knowing all the work that Neighbors for Neighbors has done in the past, uh, it was a natural fit to, to support Team Rubicon's efforts in Haiti. The donation from Neighbors for Neighbors has really helped Team Rubicon because it is expensive for uh, an organization like us to deploy a 14-person medical team from the United States uh, into Haiti, which is a very austere environment. Team Rubicon deployed our 14-person medical team into Haiti, knowing that we were going to be working in very austere locations. And that donation from Neighbors for Neighbors has helped fuel that deployment for that team, which at this point has seen well over 500 patients that were affected from the earthquake. Again, if you'd like to help us and the people in Haiti, please consider making a donation to the Haiti Earthquake Relief and Recovery Fund. Our neighbors in Haiti need our help. A devastating earthquake has destroyed not only homes, but entire lives during a pandemic. Join us and Neighbors for Neighbors to help children and families in need. You can be sure that your generosity can help provide food, shelter, and medicine to the people of Haiti. Please go to neighborsforneighbors.org slash Haiti Fund or text Haiti Fund to 41444 to donate now. Fe don. You know, Haiti isn't the only place being hit hard by COVID right here at home. The virus continues to impact lives. That's why Neighbors for Neighbors partnered with our hometown football team, the Miami Dolphins, and with the Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Providing a hot meal to a child or family just steps from their door means more than you can imagine to those struggling to make ends meet. 
Neighbors for Neighbors teamed up with the Miami Dolphins Food Relief Program and Miami-Dade County Public Schools to host a week of special distributions. The three-day food drive was held in three different local communities, long lines of families and community residents who couldn't have been more grateful to receive a hot meal along with the $25 gift card to Publix and toys for the kids. Alberto Carvalho, superintendent of Miami-Dade County Public Schools, understands the importance of helping those in need. I'm so grateful uh, to Neighbors for Neighbors, Channel 4, the Miami Dolphins, and every single entity who steps up, shows up, speaks up, and uh, quite frankly, delivers on the need that our community has. The Miami Dolphins Food Relief Program helps the community and minority businesses like Lovely's Food Truck, I See Food Miami, and Drinks on Me by purchasing catered meals and donating them to local communities. This program that we have called our Food Relief Program is very important to us because not only does it allow us to make an impact in the community, but it also allows us to be able to employ our minority-owned restaurants like we have Lovely's, who is actually our caterer today, to be able to help them be able to stay in business and be able to support their employees during this time. Well, I think it's important for CBS4 to be out here in the community because we're a part of the community and it's also a great opportunity today to really make a difference in some people's lives. And it's also a chance for me to get to um, work with Neighbor for Neighbors and the Dolphins and also some of the other businesses that are out here today supporting us. As long as there are neighbors in need, Neighbors for Neighbors will be there to help. Visit our website or call us at 305-597-4404 to learn more about how you can help a neighbor in need. Miami-Dade County Public Schools has been a driving force in ensuring families have nutritious meals through the pandemic. Take a look now at how Hialeah Gardens Elementary School paired with our partners at FarmShare to take care of students and families who live in the Jones Camp community. There's nothing like a hot meal, groceries, and toys for children to bring smiles to families in need. Thanks to Miami-Dade County Public Schools, Farm Share, catering the event, and Neighbors for Neighbors, we were able to do just that through our COVID relief and recovery campaign. Families at Jones Camp received milk, orange juice, yogurt, fruits, and a $25 gift card to Walmart to purchase more food. In addition, catering the event was gracious enough to prepare and donate hot meals for families at Jones Camp. This is a continuation of our COVID relief and recovery campaign. So far, we've done $700,000 in food, essentials, and gift cards to families in need. We identified this community here that's uh, served by Hialeah Gardens Elementary through Miami-Dade County Public Schools. They're one of the neediest groups in this area. And through our partnership with Farm Share and Miami-Dade Schools, and then also hiring uh, the, uh, the great folks at catering the event, they were able to take the supplemented food, turn it into these amazing pre-cooked meals for these families, and then also give them some other things like milk and yogurt and some fruit, and then some great toys. Well, this means so much to me. This, the majority of the students here go to my school at Hialeah Gardens, and it's so great to be able to connect with them outside of school and just to ensure that they're getting you know, all the help they need during this very trying time. Farm Share right now is very concerned about the children in the state of Florida. Right now we're looking at very high malnutrition levels. We're looking at very high traumatic psychological levels because of what the kids have seen and been through in the past couple of the past few months. And so we're very worried about 2021 and how psychological effects and malnutrition will affect the kids here in the state of Florida. And so being able to provide these meals for them means a lot to us. Join us in our efforts to continue providing our neighbors with essential items to continue the fight against COVID-19. Visit our website or call us at 305-597-4404 to learn more on how you can help a neighbor in need. Another organization that stepped up to help families through the pandemic is our partners at Branches of South Miami. Together, we were able to organize a food drive to help families in their organization. 
Neighbors for Neighbors in Branches, South Miami have worked together for about 10 years, improving the lives of those in our community. Branches South Miami's mission to break the cycle of generational poverty by engaging children, teens, and adults in lessons of financial stability and positive life changes. Because of your support, Neighbors for Neighbors provided our partners at Branches with gift cards, masks, and food to distribute to the families they serve. It means so much to these families that you're providing truly a hot home-cooked meal that they can take home tonight and actually enjoy together as a family. You know, it's been obviously, 2020 has been quite a year. So many challenges, a lot of our families found themselves suddenly unemployed, and it's just been really hard. So, you know, we're proud branches. We reopened all of our three sites throughout Miami-Dade County and brought our kids back on site in late August. And it's just been, you know, such a blessing to have them back on site. Neighbors is proud to assist branches in their mission. We are thrilled they will soon finally have their families back on their campuses, creating a lasting impact. Well, with the kids, we try to empower them and, you know, help them out with their homework, give them educational things to learn, literacy. Um, we do fitness with them. We teach them about health. And, you know, we try to give them an all-around experience. And as far as the meals, it really means a lot to the community. Um, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of people have been really struggling. And so, you know, every, every little bit helps. When you support Neighbors for Neighbors, we in turn are able to assist our partners, boosting their efforts with even more resources. Visit our website or call us at 305-597-4404 to learn more about how you can help us connect more neighbors in need. All this help to students and families was only possible because of your generosity. Funds for these and many more initiatives throughout South Florida were provided by donations to the Neighbors for Neighbors COVID-19 Relief and Recovery Fund. In all, we've raised about a million dollars in money, food, gift cards, and essential services. But the need is still ongoing. So if you'd like to donate to the COVID Relief and Recovery Fund, please visit neighborsforneighbors.org. While the pandemic has had a profound impact on many people in our community, migrant families, because of their inherent vulnerabilities, have been among the hardest hit. Neighbors for Neighbors and Miami-Dade County Public Schools have been able to supply more than 300 families with supplies and school essentials. Neighbors for Neighbors is not only helping those in Surfside, today they teamed up with Miami-Dade County Public Schools to help families in the migrant camp in South Dade to get ready for this upcoming school year. 300 families received Walmart and Publix gift cards, a wide selection of toys, backpacks filled with school supplies and school uniform vouchers. You know, when the community comes together to support the most fragile, the kids are the winners. We're talking about uh, 300 families, 600 kids, Neighbors for Neighbors, Kids for Kids. Uh, you know, we have Publix, Walmart, uh, we have Hasbro giving away toys, school supplies, backpacks, and ice cream. So it's a great day for every single kid. Students will be going back into the school building this year, and Superintendent Alberto Carvalho is encouraging all parents to vaccinate their children ages 12 and older. Now that school is back underway, the essentials are still needed. Backpacks, school supplies, shoes, and uniforms. And thanks to the Children's Services Council of Broward County and Connect Familias, the Back to School Extravaganza has supplied families in need with just that. The Back to School Extravaganza aided more than 30,000 kids this year so they could return to school prepared and ready to learn. And to keep kids safe, we help provide 30,000 reusable cloth masks for families in Broward and Miami-Dade. Thank you to FarmShare who made this special delivery and steps in the right direction, who connected us with all these masks. We're very grateful, first of all, to Neighbors for Neighbors and FarmShare for giving us access to this treasure trove of reusable masks, uh, disposable masks, sanitizers, wipes, because uh, as children go back to school and into after school and, and, and before school programs, there is a huge need for these. We had thought that perhaps we had been over the hump, but in fact, we're not. So all of our funded programs that serve children, from the little ones to teens, uh, are in great need of these supplies. 
and they will be certainly put to great use uh, over the coming months. So again, extremely grateful to Neighbors for Neighbors and Farm Share for making these available. It's amazing when um, the community comes together. Um, we've been able to partner with Children's Service Council, who's been an amazing partner, not just with this major events, but with our after school program that we do on a daily basis. They come in, they provide resources and put funds behind it when they believe in the community and believe in the things that you're trying to do. You can still support students by donating just 35 bucks. Your donation helps provide a new backpack filled with supplies, shoes, and uniforms. So donate today and help the students succeed tomorrow. The pressures of a new school year combined with the pandemic and what seems like a never-ending string of tragedies can really take its toll on the mental well-being of both children and families. That's why Neighbors for Neighbors and our partners at Children's Services Council Broward County are teaming up to ensure that you're taking care of yourself and of your children. Just get over it. That's what you keep telling yourself. That's what you think your family expects. And that's what you believe your culture demands. But mental health issues can affect anyone, no matter who you are or where you're from. That's why when it comes to mental health, we encourage you to put yourself first. It is okay to get help. Join the Children's Services Council of Broward County and visit our website to learn more about resources available to manage your mental health. Mental health is everything that encompasses everything that we think about on a daily basis that causes us happiness, anxiety, or distress. And a lot of our children and adults don't have the positive coping skills to deal with these emotions, this emotional roller coaster that we go on on a daily basis. Parents, I know they're very busy because all of us are working or doing, taking care of our families. But many times, and many times we don't have the time to listen to our kids. The most important thing about helping kids is to listen to what they have to say about what happened to them that day. Um, they will tell you what's going on uh, if they trust you and if they know that you're not going to criticize them for whatever they're saying. School age kids are not the only ones we're looking out for. Neighbors for Neighbors teamed up with Broward Healthy Start Coalition to educate parents on the importance of safe sleep habits for infants. Your baby snuggled next to you for a good night's sleep. Sounds delightful. But it can be deadly. Babies die because of unsafe sleep habits. In the past five years, we have lost 70 infants due to sleep-related deaths. That is not counting the four that have occurred this year in 2021. Out of those 70 deaths, 67% occurred in an adult bed. 4% have occurred in an unsafe sleep space, like a couch or a chair. We've had infants roll in between the wall um, and the mattress. We actually recently had a death like that. The common message that we wanna share, uh, not only in Broward County, but nationally, uh, is the cornerstone of safe sleep, the ABCs. A, A stands for alone. Your baby should always be placed to sleep alone in the safe sleep space. B, B stands for back. Your baby should always be placed to sleep on their backs for each and every sleep, including nap time. And C, C stands for crib. We want every single baby to be placed in either a crib, a bassinet, or a portable crib, otherwise known as a pack and play. Broward Healthy Start created initiatives to educate families and caretakers on safe sleep practices, which include a local ordinance passed in 2016 mandating childcare and daycare centers practice safe sleep habits. The ordinance also requires staff members to be trained in safe sleep, according to recommendations made by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Other initiatives include the CRIBS program, funded by the Children's Services Council of Broward County. The CRIBS program educates parents and caretakers on the importance of safe sleep and provides 450 safe sleep spaces for families in Broward County who are in need. The Model Behavior Program encourages doctors, nurses, and physician assistants to practice safe sleep habits in front of their patients, while also educating parents and caretakers on the importance of safe sleep habits. 
Neighbors for Neighbors would like to thank Broward Healthy Start Coalition, the Children's Services Council of Broward County, and the Connect Program for their diligent efforts in saving infant lives. To learn more about your ABCs from our partners, Broward Healthy Start, visit neighborsforneighbors.org slash safesleep. And finally tonight, the last year has been very hard on everyone. In these times, it can be really difficult to find something to smile or laugh about. So to help solve that problem, Neighbors for Neighbors is bringing you a night full of laughs, music, and fun, and it's all, of course, for a good cause. Last month, I went to an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Last week, I went to an arch of the foot, small of the back, nape of the neck doctor. <laughs> I have fallen arches, my small's too big, and I have a trick nape. The Comedy for a Cause show on December 8th will star the hilarious Brian Regan. He and special guest Bonnie May, Gene Harding, and Esther Koo will hit the stage at the fabulous Hard Rock Live. Tickets are on sale right now on neighborsforneighbors.org and at Ticketmaster. It's gonna be a riot. Proceeds from the show will help Neighbors for Neighbors continue to make a positive impact in our community, connecting people in need with those willing to help. Over the past 18 months, we provided our community with $1.9 million to support our efforts like the COVID-19 Relief and Recovery Fund, the Haiti Earthquake Relief and Recovery Fund, the Surfside Building Collapse Fund, and so much more. In addition, our general fund allows us to continue to connect people in need with those willing to help on a daily basis, no matter the need. Thank you all so much for joining us. Neighbors for Neighbors would like to thank you, our supporters, as well as our partners at the Children's Services Council, Berkowitz Pollock Brandt, Infrasol, and Connect Familias, with special thanks to our most valuable partner, CBS4. Without our partners coming together, we would not be able to make the impact that we do in the community. And as always, if you or someone you know is in need, or if you or someone you know is willing to help out, please contact us, neighbors for neighbors at 305-597-4404, or visit us at neighborsforneighbors.org.